Claude just dropped a brand new feature that's absolutely insane. It allows you to build out apps, prototypes, documents, and so much more, and you could even have those things have access to Claude inside of them. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what that new feature is, how you could use it, and I'm gonna share with you a bunch of crazy use cases you could start to use this for today to increase your productivity. So that brand new feature is the latest update that they just released two artifacts right here, and this is pretty incredible. So if we zoom in right here, I wanted to read this for you. So you can now power your artifacts with Claude's API. So you can create apps, prototypes, and interactive documents that use Claude inside of the artifact. Literally, all you have to do is start by saying, let's build an app or something along the lines of that to get access to the power of Claude's API without doing anything other than actually coming in and enabling that feature. Now, if you wanna make sure if that's actually enabled, you're gonna come down here, you're gonna come into your settings, you're going to come over down here into feature preview, sorry, and then you wanna make sure that this says create AI powered artifacts. By the way, there's a thunderstorm going on outside, so if you hear random noise throughout this, it's just thunder and not that I have a messed up mic or anything like that. Um, so if we come back into artifacts over here, there are a few different things that you could do. First and foremost, you can look through all these artifacts that already work for inspiration. For example, if we look at this writing editor right here, we can see this is actually what's built out right here. We could see what the starting prompt was to actually create this. We could view the full chat if we wanted to right here, or we could view an artifacts guide. And if we wanted to take this and customize it, for example, you wanted to put your own unique spin on it, you could do that simply by clicking on customize this artifact right here. And then we come in here and tell it what we want it to do. For example, maybe we want to change a topic and we want to have this be an Alex Hormozy-like copywriting assistant or something like that. Or maybe you want to be able to write music, but you want to write music just like Taylor Swift, you could have it do that. Now, if you come into update style, you can also refresh the visuals or overall design. You want to make it more personal. You could tailor it specifically to your needs and you can actually share this with other people. And the most powerful part about if you share one of these with other people is that it's not going to be utilizing your Claude credit. So it's not going to cost you anything. So if I updated this, I would be able to share this with you. So let's just say that we updated a little bit. I'm gonna say, please train this to act as an Alex or Mosey copywriting expert. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to change this. And by the way, the reason I put please in all my prompts, you don't have to do that. But if AI takes over, I wanted to know that I was nice to it. So if we come over here, we can see that this is actually going through. This is transforming it. And we could see what that actually means right here in terms of what it's going to focus on. So it's going to focus on being value driven, pain points and solution, clear direct language and 10 other points. So it actually goes through and it says, I need to update the artifact to do these six things. And then it's actually going to do that. And then we're going to publish this. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you actually share it with somebody so that you can see what that experience looks like because you could use this to build out tools, build out documents, build out prototypes, build out apps, build out websites, and so much more. And guess what? You will be able to charge people for them, or you could use it as an internal tool just for your team or just for yourself. Now let's just let this finish up real quick and then I'll show you what it actually looks like once we publish it. Okay, so now we can actually see that this has been set up right here. We could see all the different frameworks that have been added here, new features that have been added here and a bunch of other things. Now, if we wanted to publish this, we would literally just click on publish right here so we can publish and copy link. Now you could see that we could actually send this to other people. So I'm gonna open up an incognito window. I'm gonna send this over here and you'll be able to see that other people can now use this or if they wanted to, they could build on this and they could customize based on this too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my website right here. So we'll come over here, click right here to be able to get this copy. Boom, we're gonna take this and we're gonna say, uh, I'm gonna put this in here like this and I'm gonna say get Alex Hormozy review. You could see that it actually requires us to log in right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, get the Alex Hormozy review on this and we could see how this actually goes through and how this works. You're gonna see it down here, all the different copywriting improvements. This is just going to take a few seconds because it's using Claude's API to use Claude and all the information that this has been trained on in order 
to give us a bunch of different improvements here. Okay, so here's what this actually does now. It gives us an Alex Hormozzi scorecard, and then if we scroll down right here, it actually goes through all the different changes that we need to make to increase value, increase clarity, increase the urgency, social proof, emotion, structure, and if we come under all, we'll be able to see all these different changes. And if we agree with them, we simply just click on apply right here, and then they automatically get added. Now, the other way that you could go through and create one of these artifacts, if you don't want to remix something that already exists, is you could click on create new artifact right here and you could see you can make an app and a website or a document and a template or a game productivity tool. You could start from scratch, create a quiz or a survey, or create a creative product. And if you actually click on one of these, it literally just says then productivity tool. It's going to walk you through a bunch of different questions that you then need to answer. And then it will go ahead and actually create exactly what you want. Now, before I show you some of those crazy use cases, please smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this almost every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Use case number one that I would strongly suggest that you check out with this is the email writing assistant. So if you need help polishing your emails or writing down your thoughts and having Claude actually help you create the perfect email, I would strongly suggest that you customize this right here. This allows you to add in your thoughts, to choose the email tone, add in any additional context, and then it will actually generate emails for you. This is something that I've personally built out for my assistant to use so that they know what can actually be written because it's written the same exact way that I would write something. And as we can see down here, it actually gives us a bunch of other different pro tips here. And again, if we wanted to create this, we literally just come in here, click on customize, and then you can upload anything that you want. For example, you could have this go through and actually access anything that you have here, like Google Drives or your Gmail to understand exactly how you actually write in Gmail. Or maybe you have other integrations actually set up here, or what you could do is have this go through your Google Google Drive and you could upload a bunch of different contexts or links if you wanted to upload things like an FAQ on your website or whatever somebody actually needed to know. And again, you could come through here, change a topic, update the style, make it personal, and whatever vision you have for how this would work inside of your business or inside of your life, you can customize it to work like that. Now, use case number two is creating quizzes like this. But in specific, I would create quizzes like this and then actually use these as lead magnets. This one right here is like a funny one, right? How petty are you? And then it says, what's bothering you? And then it gives you a scale. But you could actually do this for like, how good a shaper are you in? Or how good are you at sales? Or how good are you at creating social media content? Or how much do you know about AI? And you'll be able to customize these. And then you could use this as a lead magnet. You could get somebody to give you their phone number, their name, their email address, and then they get access to this and it will actually give them results. Or you could have this be something like, I run a pretty big social media marketing agency, I could have something for like, is your YouTube channel fully optimized? And then go through, have them answer a bunch of questions, and then they actually get a report or they get an audit from that. And then as a result, it will increase the amount of leads that I'm able to generate for my business. And if you struggle with coming up with ideas like this, I would literally just come over to Claude and do something like this. I want to create a quiz to generate leads for my business. I am a mortgage broker, please give me ideas about a quiz I could create and use as a lead magnet. Now, obviously, you're probably not a mortgage broker, or maybe you are a mortgage broker, in which case you would just copy this, but you could come over here, replace mortgage broker with what you do if you're trying to get more leads, and this will actually give you a bunch of different examples. And what I would recommend that you do is do all these. How much house can you afford? That's a great one. What type of loan is perfect for you? Another great one. Are you ready to buy your first home? Another great one. And you could go through, build out all these different lead magnets, and then it will help you make more money. Or if you have an agency or you want to begin to sell things like this to mortgage brokers, you would be able to build these things out and then convince them that it's going to help drive more leads for them. Now, use case number three is going to be using this in order to create different dashboards. As we can see right here, you can come through, you can then upload data into this and you can have this actually create custom dashboards. This is incredibly helpful if you ever do anything with reports or you want to be able to visually show something that you can't currently, just create one of these generators like this and then you or your team can begin to use this to automate a lot of their reporting. Now for use case number four, I actually wanted to show you two different ones. We have language learning 
Learning Tutor right here, which again, you could change this to be Learning Tutor for anything, but then also, they also have a flashcard one up here. So you could combine both the flashcard and the tutor for whatever topic you want and actually be able to help people study, help people learn, or just help people get up to date on new terms that they need to know or new things that they need to learn so they can be continually improving. And again, you could use this as an internal tool to help your team. You could use this personally for you, or you could sell this to an audience or partner with people that want to actually sell these solutions to an audience. And then that last one that I really like that I have here is QR code generator. Now again, you're gonna give this a URL and then it will actually generate that QR code. But I want you to think about all the different use cases for this. Let's say that we can upload photos and then get an AI generated photo or we could upload a URL and then get an auto subscribe link for a YouTube channel, or you could use this to create UTMs or small URLs. The opportunity with this is endless. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. If you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this one right here that shows you how you could begin to create AI coworkers that work for you 24-7. Check it out here.